going on guys so today we're going to be doing some warrior spiritual development you know it's really important not only to develop ourselves as a physical lethal weapon but also to develop our spirituality and our mind as well mind body spirit all right the three things the trinity all right we can go pretty deep with that but we're going to leave it at that right now it's really really important that we hone ourselves in all three areas all right the trinity mind body and spirit we're going to be talking about spirit today the universe or god wants to deliver to you what you want this is the natural order of things this is the natural order of the universe it flows downstream and it wants to deliver to you everything that you're focusing your attention on and we all know especially those of us who study these types of metaphysical things that it's not always a good thing right so be careful what you put your intentions on be careful what you put your energy into because one way or the other sooner or later the things that we focus on most have a tendency to develop and show up so we have to be careful that the potent energy of this force is bringing us what we desire and not what we do not desire now this all right frankly speaking it's almost white belt stuff when it comes to spiritual development. A lot of us know this already. A lot of us have heard this already. You may have seen like the secret or anything like anything like that. This is not what we're talking about. But what we are discussing is the natural order of the universe. Now, you can call it anything you want. You can call it God. You can call it the universe. You can call it Buddha. You can call it Hashem, Allah, Christ, like whatever you want to call it. We're talking about the same thing here. I have an example to give you, all right? But as I said, the title of this vid video is The Universe or God Wants to Give You Everything That You Want. You just have to listen. So let me relate to you a quick uh, metaphor or analogy real quick. A lot of you have already heard this, so bear with me. But there was a guy, and he's trapped in a freaking flood zone. And he's like standing up on his roof, and he's praying. He's praying to God. And he's saying, save me, God, save me, save me. And so uh, all of a sudden, whoosh, 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 freaking Coast Guard helicopter flies by and it stops and it's hovering over it. And the freaking wind's washing down on him. He's got the, the rotor wash going. And the Coast Guard with the, you know, with the loudspeaker says, we'll lower you down a basket. Get in. And the guy waves it off and he goes, no, nah, no, nah, pray to God. He's going to save you. you guys go to the next house. And so they're like, OK, whatever, man. And they fly away, it flies away. And then, um, like an hour later, a little Zodiac boat with firefighters in it drives by. And they got the little bullhorn and they go, we're here to save you. Get in the boat. We'll take you to safety. And he goes, no, no, no. I've prayed to God. He's going to save you. You guys go to the next house. Look around and what? It's like, go, 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 go. And it's like, all right, you don't have time. And it drives off. And then, like, the freaking waters are, like, at his freaking shoulders almost, right? And, like, he knows he's about to drown. And a freaking big piece of, like, wood comes by, like, floating. And he thinks about it. And he's like, oh, maybe I should get on there. And then he goes, no, 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 no. I prayed to God. He'll save me. He'll save me. And he lets the freaking wood float by. And the waters surround him. And it freaking comes over his head. And he, like, drowns and dies. And he goes up to heaven. And God's, like, laughing. He's like, whoa. What are you doing? And the guy's like, God, I, I prayed to you. You're supposed to save me. What's, why didn't you save me? And God goes, you damn freaking guy. I sent you a freaking helicopter. I sent you a freaking boat. And then at the last ditch effort, I sent you a freaking piece of wood to crawl on. You didn't take any of it. <laughs> so that story or that analogy leads into exactly what I'm talking about here. Is the universe wants to deliver to you what you want but you have to be willing to take the step to proceed it you have to be willing to not only step up onto that life raft or climb up into that basket to go on the helicopter or hop up on that wood you have to be willing to take that physical step the physical steps you need to take are important you can't just sit there Look at a freaking vision board with a gosh damn Ferrari and like a mansion and a, like whatever, a nice family on, right? Like you, 
you can sit there all day and look at that freaking thing and the, you'll never get what you want. But if you look at that vision board, and I'm I'm not advocating vision boards, I'm just saying, for example, if you sit there and look at that vision board, and it's got the nice car, it's got the nice house, it's got the nice family on it, and then you go out there and you're researching on YouTube. Well, how do I make a side hustle? You know, what what do I do? How do I invest my money the right way? Um, how do I how do I put in the overtime hours and use that money to make a side business and do this and that and that? And you're actively going out there on dates and you're not settling for like beat ass hoes, but you're looking for a nice girl and you know, you're not willing to settle for less. You want to, you know, you're, you, you know what you want. You're going to get it. Like then you're putting yourself in the exact prime space to receive what you want. Not only are you putting in the work, but you're putting yourself in the right times and places to receive what you want. Like I said, it's not all about putting in the physical work. Sometimes the more you work is not the more you get, but the more you work, the more you're putting yourself in prime situations for those things to be delivered unto you. So while yes, praying for what you want is good, meditating and focusing your energy and your attention on what it is that you're trying to attract into your life is good. You then have to take the actions to do it. You have to put yourself into the right time situations and places in order for those things to come to you. Sometimes it's more about listening to your intuition. Have you ever been in a situation where you just feel it and you're like, I don't know why, but I feel like I should go to this place right now. And then you go and like, oh, everything worked out and everything fell into place. I just had to be in this like right time at this right, in this right place at this right time. Or like, have you ever thought to yourself like, hmm, I feel like I should like call this person. I don't know why, but let me just check in on them, see how they're doing. And then like you call them and then they're like, oh, by the way, you know, uh, I'm working on this business deal with this person. Do you want, do you want in on this? And you go and like, then boom, like you make 20 grand, whatever, right? Like you have to be willing to not only, number one, put the work in. Number two, trust the universe, trust God to put you in those situations in the right times, in the right places. You also have to listen to your intuition. And we talk a lot about intuition when it comes to fighting, when it comes to survival, when it comes to surviving in a hostile environment. All these physical hard skills that we talk about deal a lot with intuition. Intuition, listening to your intuition about a particular person or persons or a place, like go here, don't go there, this and that. It's very important. We all know this when it comes to physical hard skills and survival and dealing with people. But it also is very important when it comes to manifesting, for lack of a better word, what it is that you want. You have to be willing to do all of this. All of this. Yes, pray about it. Yes, focus your attention and energy on it. Then take the active steps to go after what it is that you want. Formulate a plan and follow through on that plan. That plan will then thusly more than likely put you in the right times or in the right places in the right times around the right people. You have to listen to your intuition to follow, hey, do I do with this person? Do I do with here? Should I call them? Should I do this? Should I go here? Trust the force. Any of you who have ever seen Star Wars, like the OG original Star Wars, know how important it is to use the force, Luke. For real, you should use the force. By doing all of this, it will put you in a prime, advantageous position to then be able to reap the rewards for all of your attention, focus, and energy spent on whatever it is that you're trying to attain. Now, obviously, nobody's a master at this. Certainly not me. Otherwise, I'd be freaking sitting on a golden toilet every day, right? Flying around in private jets. But I do know that these this is the natural order of the universe. A lot of us are pointed upstream in a rowboat trying to row against the current. When all we need to do is turn that rowboat around let the current take us where it will and trust that it'll deliver us to the right beach landing or the right shore or the right port. It's a lot easier that way and a lot better that way as well. I hope this helped some of you out there. If you want physical hard skills trading, check out gutterfightingsecrets.com. We've got a lot of great products up there that will teach you how to fight like a freaking, like a freaking whatever is good at fighting. <laughs> 
It'll make a lion out of you. That's for damn sure. And if you need anything, if you'd like me to make any videos about anything, plop in the comments below. I'd be happy to help. Until next time, please remember that you are your first and last line of defense, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers, motherflowers.